So as you guys can see, right here I have got a Nintendo Wii. Now this Nintendo Wii I've had for maybe quite a long time. I can't really remember what's on it. Um, but one thing I've just realised is it's missing the SD card. Also it's got home wraps and stuff on there. Obviously without the SD card in, they won't actually work. So my best bet is probably to unhomebrew this, just delete everything and start again. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how to do that. So this is probably useful if you get a second hand Wii um, that's already jailbroken or you've had one that's been lying around for ages and it's missing the SD card and it's always a good idea just to you know um, you know wipe it start fresh and um, get rid of the homebrew apps and just start completely again so the first thing I need to do is actually sync my Wii remote because this Wii has been lying around for so long it doesn't even have a Wii remote connected to it so you should know how to do that I'm just gonna press the two sync buttons Okay, so there you go, it's turned on, my controller is synced. Um, I just realized this was the one I actually did like the green light mod on. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, this should actually be in green. Maybe if I power it off and then power it back on again. I think I did a video on this ages ago, maybe years ago. I don't know if you can see that, but it, um, the um, LED lights in here are actually green. Well, not really green, I just use some yellow tape and it makes them look green. So yeah, let's go on to this Wii and um, let's sort it out. Okay guys, so now I'm on the Wii, and um, it's got a load of random stuff on here, like I can't remember when I got some of this stuff, um, but I'm pretty sure it's all like, um, kind of like messed up and stuff like that, um, I just want to restart it and basically start again. So what you guys would want to do is go to the Wii icon right here and just press A on it, this will lead you into the Wii options. Also if you have an SD card, you can format your Wii like this as well. So we're just going to go over there again, there you go, Wii options. We're going to go into Wii settings, um, keep in mind this will delete everything on your Wii, so if there is something you want to save or back up, you can back it up to your SD card. But we're just going to scroll all the way along. Um, we are looking for the format Wii system memory. So we're going to press A on this one. We're then going to press A on format. Uh, format. It's going to ask you a few times. Remember, all data will be lost. Format. This is going to delete everything off your Wii system. Now, if you had custom firmware installed, so the Homebrew channel or D2XC iOS, this will remove that as well. And um, it won't break your Wii, Wii or anything like that. I don't know if this one had like um, NAND like protection or something on, but it should remove that as well. So we're just going to format it and we're just going to get a fresh Nintendo Wii. So there you go, formatted, we're going to press A on OK and it should actually shut down. So now once it's shut down, you can wait a couple of seconds and you can press the power button and you can go and power it back on. Now it should just start up and everything should be deleted. Now, as I said, if you had an SD card, you can go and format your SD card as well. You can either format it on your computer or you can format it on the Wii itself. So now we're just going to set the Wii up. This is like a Wii um, if you like got it when it was brand new. Um, so I'm just going to set this up real quick. We need to put in the dates. Okay, so we're just going through the setup now, and I've nearly finished. We don't want parental controls, and now we can press X, I mean A on OK. And then there you go, your Wii should be formatted, and you won't have custom firmware or any of those apps. So that's pretty much it for this quick video. I just want to make it. Some people think you break your Wii if you, like, factory set it, but um, no, you don't at all, even if you have D2X CIOS installed. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.